Hi, my name is Jonathan. I'm part of cohort 13 of the Data School within the Information Lab. And today I'm going to explain how to make reference boxes or highlight boxes within Tableau Desktop. Before I begin actually building a reference box, I first will explain what one actually is. In short, a reference box is the intersection between two reference bands. On the screen now you see three scatter plots, one with no reference bands at all, one with reference bands added, and one with a reference box. As you can see, the reference box is just a highlighted area where the two reference bands intersect. With that out of the way, let's actually start building one. So here I've got a scatter plot that I made earlier. And for some context, these marks that are coloured in represent the marks that are within one standard deviation of the average for both profit and of sales. So what I'm going to build is a standard deviation reference box. You can make a variety of different reference boxes, but I'll explain more about these at the end. So there are three steps to building a reference box. Step one is to add a reference band to the x-axis. So I'm going to add a reference band here. And because this is a standard deviation reference box, I'm going to go to the distribution option and set the value to standard deviation and leave it as minus one and one. Then I'm going to make sure the line is set to none. And I'm going to untick show recalculate band. And I'm going to set the fill color to the desired background color for my reference box. So for this example, I'm just going to choose a faint color, such as this one give a light shaded area behind the marks I want to highlight. And I'm also going to turn off label. For this example, I am going to leave lines on just so you can see clearly where what is happening as I build this reference box. So let's leave these on. And click OK. Step two is to now add a reference line to the Y axis. So I'm going to right click on the y-axis and add a reference line. And I'm going to, because this is again a standard deviation box, I'm actually going to go to the distribution option again, set the value standard deviation and make it just one sided. So I want to color in the bottom of the box. So I'm going to set it to minus one. Now it's important the order of steps you do here. So firstly, you want to select fill below and then you want to select symmetric. The reason you want to do fill below and then symmetric before picking any colors is because when you select just fill below it only gives you these preset colors. Once you click symmetric you can then click the color, whatever color you want. So the fill color that you want here will be the background color for your chart. So in my case the background color is white so I'm going to leave the fill color as white. And I'm going to untick show recalculate band again and turn off the label. Once again, for the sake of showing clearly what is happening, I'm going to turn on the line just so you can see that this is a reference line and I'm colouring in everything underneath this reference line. This means I've shaded out the bottom part of the x axis reference band. The last step is to now repeat the process but for the top of the box. So I'm going to add another reference line to the y axis the distribution and this time I'm going to select plus one for my standard deviation. I'm going to select fill above this time instead of fill below as I'm filling in the top above the box. Select symmetric, make sure the fill grows set to white. Untick show recalculate band and untick the label once again just for clarity show the line. And there you go. You've now built a basic reference box. In this case, a standard deviation reference box. As mentioned earlier, there are a few different types of reference box you can build. So for example, here's a reference box using percentiles with marks that fall within the middle 50% for profit and sales highlighted. In the middle, we have another reference box that uses constants. So here, we just want to highlight everything that falls between 5K profit and 15K profit and 40k sales and 80k sales. And on the right, we have a really interesting one where we give the user parameters so they can actually adjust the reference box themselves. They can actually move this reference box around and highlight different marks, depending on what their area of interest is. So there you go. 
Hopefully now you have a good idea of how to build your own reference box. If you'd like to interact with or download the examples displayed in this video, there is a link to the viz on Tablet Public in the description. For more interesting scatterplot variations, check out the video linked at the bottom right to view my colleague Jake's video on connected scatterplots, and make sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all our 5 minute Tableau how-to videos. Thanks for watching.